Okay, I'm going to, a, to do a setup. It's for a mount. And the name is Dilking Device Fat Gecko Triple Mount. Okay, it's in the box. Let's go ahead and open it real quick. Okay. I'm going to read all this. I don't think most of you care. This is what comes in the box. Okay. As most of you probably saw from other videos, this thing is fully adjustable in every direction. Let's go ahead and just go through this really quick. There's a discrepancy on all the videos on metal and plastic. Some people claim it's all plastic, some people claim it's all metal. So let's go ahead and go through this really quick. Plastic. 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 Metal. Okay, this piece is metal. Bow joint. It's metal, connection, metal, the rod, another bolt joint, that's all metal, okay. The knob, plastic, metal, 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 plastic, plastic, metal, metal, plastic twisting right here, and metal threads, okay. Metal, plastic, plastic, plastic. Plastic. Okay, so majority of the sturdy structure part is metal. Just the cup sections and the knobs are plastic. Okay, let's clarify that thing because there's some terrible videos out there. It's hard to uh, freaking go with it. This is a work mat for crafting and stuff. Let's see if it sucks onto it. Just curious. Okay, so you press once, press one more time, and then you hold it. Oh yeah, this is on it. Oh, not really. Okay, so this is this is non this is porous. Matt, so I guess it didn't work. Okay, this will mount to my car. This is what this is for. I'm gonna have to loop cable this bow joint. So apparently, apparently, this piece can be detached. And for more stabilized setup, this is where you mount more action in GoPro. This is a mini mount. So it's actually two mounts in one. Okay? And you can, I think you can just take this off if you want to. But I'm just gonna leave it on it. At the moment. Not, not in a hurry. Okay, the mini mounts here, you can mount stuff. So, what I'm attempting to do is mount this, this direction. Top mount and bottom mount. In order to do that, you'll need this. JJC. Hot connection. Okay. What this does, for many of us doesn't know, what this does is, you can fasten this, to the new case I got. This is a cheap Osmo one, casing, housing case. But what this one has, it's like $8 or $9 on Amazon. What this one has is, it's like unboxing street items. This one come with, oh shit, look at that. They come with a cover. And here's that. Let me go ahead and see if this works. It does. The other direction. It doesn't. Okay, I only go one direction. So, I will lock the top down. Here. Take out this piece. Put a female ant in here. Okay, doesn't look like it's gonna work that way, so... So that will fasten to that piece. So we got the bottom mount set up. And for the top mount... Well... Either way, obviously, just one goes to another one. And Osmo Portal has another piece, you can go here. So I'm gonna go grab that. Okay, after a long look, I found it. So you need a, a piece like this, with a thread on one end. And you basically, of course you guys will know this already, just put it in. And if I want to lock it in, I can do the bolt joint, just lock it in. But right now, I just leave it free for now. Make sure everything's tight. Okay, so now, the camera is held by top and bottom. So typically, what most of people complain about is, even with the third arm right here, it will shake the top because the, it's more like a canopy. Uh, if you put the rock steady on, you'll see that disappear. But what happened with Rocksteady or the stabilization for GoPro, it will stabilize 
the furthest point, which is the scenery, and your car will move up and down. So which is not good. You want to actually turn the stabilization off when you do the car mount. But when you do the stabilization off, the downside is this thing wobbles at the tip of this end. So the fix is basically lock it down like this with two with two two sides, and you lock it down, and you film it this way. Okay. So this is the way to do it, and that's the way I will be doing for the for the Osmo. And really lock it so this thing does not move once this is all locked down you get all this joint tie lock in and we will try this very soon like now in the next clip quickly uh, i just set this up this will what it look like if this is the door of the car and this face is up okay this is up at the window so this way i've set it up have the two on the bottom one on the top holding it steady and i believe this will be on the window somehow and this piece doesn't go anywhere. Also, there's this configuration. Coming out on the window. Windshield. So, for this, I have two options. Uh, I can use the regular plastic case. and But I was a little hesitant to put all the PL filters on the plastic case. Or I can use the waterproof case, which I bought specially for impact and waterproof. I can use PL filter. So I'm going to try out a little bit. To see, do I need a PL filter today? It is a fairly sunny out today, so so I decide on using the PLC filter. Um, basically, just a twisted for glare with a PL filter on it, and so it's not a magnetic attached. It's by Free Will, and let's see how this works. I think it might work even better than what I was thinking earlier. And I'm going to put a the cin cinematic. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Go to the setting. Go down. Now I'm going to the cinema and the warp. I think let's put a warp on. So no the warp. And going back. Video. Okay. Put rock steady. Turn on the rock steady mode. 24. 1080p 24fps. I think that will be the setting. And I left everything auto. And very simple, just CLP filter. Currently set on the maximum. Anti glare twist. It's by free will. Okay. Put this in. Okay, I believe this is how I'm going to mount this. I tried it the other day. Um, we can do two in the front, and one catches, or two in the back, one catches. Um, I think I'm going to do two in the back, one catch in the front. Okay, so before I go in with that, I'm going to wipe this down. There's another way I can film this upside down to, to reduce air resistance. Let me think about this, if I film this upside down. So walking closer. This will be the setup. Let me loosen the pot so I can maneuver this around. You can see a lot easier. And this is basically just pressing place. All locked. All locked. Pressing place. All locked. Make sure every single joint is somewhat tightened. Okay. It's very stiff, it doesn't go anywhere. Hopefully it doesn't fall out while we're driving. You have one new message. Hey, this is Phil from the Small Wiener Club. Uh, sorry to get back to you so late. I just finished reviewing your application and information you sent in. 
uh, but I am sorry to say that I don't think I can allow you to join our group. From what I'm looking at, your wiener My is friend Kenny. massive. I mean, the sheer girth and juiciness alone is ridiculous. Uh, it looks as if somebody glued a forearm to the bottom of your torso. You could probably stand on it like a tripod. Uh, and that's not even mentioning how fat your nuts are. Uh... But it does appear bye, bye, that Kenny. you're going to have to take that ginormous- So apparently this hack can make your pants look brand new. What? No way that's gonna half hand. No <laughs> way that's gonna half hand. Yeah, apparently you just need salt, baking soda, vinegar, and soap. Yeah, wow. That does look so perfect. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this works. I'm your pan handler for today. <laughs> let's load this up with some salt. Okay, we put some baking soda? Yeah. How much? I mean, more's gotta be better here. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we got our dish soap. We got some Dawn here. And we're just gonna put it on. Look at this yellow bird looking <laughs> yeah, C8. Yeah, like that. Okay, just start scrubbing. Okay, that's gotta be good, right? Now, they cover it up with paper towel. Right? I am coming okay, to catch it. now we pour this on. Okay, here we go. Now you just rub off all the burning. <laughs> coming, coming okay, three, soon. Two. Come on. One. Oh, oh. No way. Oh, no way. Oh, dude. In the next no episode. That looks like it's working. I no way! Whoa! No way! Dude! That's like 99% Continue from last yeah, I was episode. I this TikTok talk about I'm red nickered in you. I don't know about you guys, but I was sitting here in my car pondering what redneck means to me. Well, look at here. I got a slightly modified Geo Metro. This thing's got three speeds. Here, there, and gone. It's got the power of infinity and beyond. You hear what I'm saying? It goes zero to 60 and two point eventually. You know what I'm saying? Look, I even got the luggage rack here on the back of this bad boy. Boy, I tell you what, this thing will get up and go. It pops willies. It's like that messed up uh, grocery cart you get there at Walmart. The wheels start going like that. Oh, I tell you what. He's a monster. Where He's is a the monster. yellow bird? C8. Pass C8 or it's still ahead? Leave in the comment. Teen's long nose. The radar sends a coded electronic signal requesting information from the unknown aircraft. That radar can tell you a lot of detail about an aircraft and not just altitude, speed, heading, etc. But maybe what kind of aircraft is it? Is it a MiG-29, a Su-27, is it a 747? Pilots call the signal reply or die. If the challenging aircraft is friendly, it responds immediately. The plane racing toward Michael's shower, however, stays silent. Immediately go, within just about two seconds I go, that's MiG-29, I know. My blood pressure was definitely starting to go up. Shower quickly realizes that the MiG is not closing in on him, but on one of the precious F-117. Yellow Bird C-8 was behind me. The F-15 can fly three times as fast as a 747 passenger jet. Its massive engines generate over 50,000 pounds of thrust. Us the amount of push behind the aircraft, providing us the speed so that we can outclimb an opponent. Back in Eastern Europe, two F 15s escort 10 F 117 stealth fighters and two B 2 bombers into Serbian airspace. $10 billion of high end aircraft, all under the guard of the F 15. The bombers are specialists in hitting ground targets, but can do little air-to-air. -air. If Serb fighters detect them, the F-15s may be their only hope.
threat? There's a man pulling dead squirrels out of the cat. How is that a threat? The kids are singing devil songs, whacking a horse effigy, or they're eating what came out of his head. Ma'am, do you see any party streamers? Yes. All right, well, Paradise is a small town. You are actually not the first person to call about this. The child in question is very popular, but his parents limited the guest list to 20. I needed to hear that. Thank you.